Okay guys, I got another video for you. This one is on welding diodes. So why am I doing a video on welding diodes when there's only just probably a handful of people who's going to watch this video? Number one, if you are a welder, the welding diodes is a pretty common thing to go out and this is just a brief synopsis on how to tell if the welding diode is bad and how to tell what direction this diode flows. Is it a reverse flow or is it a straight flow diode? Um, always replace your diodes in pairs. So anyway, I had to take my welder to the um, welding shop, a welder repair shop here locally. And uh, he gave me some information and I was going to share this information with you so that you won't have to go and look all this up. Um, so basically I'm going to show you what a bad diode looks like and then I'll show you what a good diode looks like and then I'm going to show you how to tell if it's a straight flow or reverse flow diode. Let's take a look at this. Okay, here's two diodes and they are, the, they are in the same, uh, they came out of the same welder. One of them is good, one of them is bad. Why are both of them out? Because you've got to replace both of them in pairs. So, here's a test to show if the diode is good or not. Okay, first of all, get a little multimeter. These things are cheap. Uh, most, most of you are going to have a multimeter anyway. Turn the selector to the diode mode, which is this little symbol right here. I don't know if you can pick that up or not, but anyway, uh, mine has a little symbol, diode symbol, and it also has a little speaker sound there, because if you touch the two uh, together, it'll make a little sound. Okay, so you have your multimeter. Now, let's test the diodes. Okay, so we're testing the first diode. I've got the black on the negative to the to the base here or to the stud and then the positive up here to the top of the lead and the multimeter is indicating 0.422 that is good okay that that is a good reading there so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to reverse them I'll put the black up top and the negative here I mean the red here and we get nothing okay this is a good diode so if there is no current flowing in one direction and you get say a reading of 400 to 600 in the other direction that's a good diode now here is a bad diode I'm gonna put uh, it doesn't matter you can put one load one lead on the top one lead on the bottom and here's what's gonna happen watch this Okay. All right. So that lets us know that there is an open in this diode. So, all right. So you can switch that. Put your red on the top, black on the bottom. Again, you get the beep. This is a bad diode. This is actually what's called an open diode. It's no good. Okay. So how do you know what flow? Uh, is it a straight polarity diode or is it a reverse polarity diode that you just pulled out of your welder? Well, this tells you right here. The uh, the welder repair maintenance guy gave me this sheet of paper, and that's actually what he goes by, so that he can remember how what what direction diode it is. All right. So all you do is set your multimeter up just like I explained, and then you test your put the black to the to the stud mount and then you put the red at the top and I'm trying to do this with one hand it's really kind of hard but anyway you put the uh, put the red up top and the base here alright and then we get the reading of 422 okay that is exactly what the instructions say that tells us that that is a straight polarity diode straight polarity diode okay shows it right here black to the pop to the uh, bottom red to the top you get us you get a reading 
straight polarity and if you reverse that you get no reading that's a good diode and that's a straight polarity diode alright so what would a reverse polarity diode look like well in a re reverse polarity diode you would have you would put the black to the top and the red to the stud mount and then that's where you get your reading and then when you reverse those the red to the top black to the stud mount you would get open loop or nothing that would be a good reverse polarity diode so what um, so also you know when you go to order these things they're gonna they're gonna ask you do you need straight polarity or reverse polarity so you know here is a here is the a diagram a circuit diagram symbol so and it depends on the direction that it's pointing so I don't know if you guys can see that but for a straight polarity diode straight polarity diode the little arrow symbol is pointing towards the base okay that's a straight polarity diode a reverse polarity diode the little arrow is pointing towards the the um, the top or t pointing towards the, the the lead up here that's a reverse polarity diode I hope this is picking up so anyway just a quick that's just a quick synopsis guys of uh, the output diodes for welders I hope that helps you uh, you can go out look at this video get your multimeter you can actually diagnose whether or not a lead is bad while it's on the welder touch the bottom touch the top and then reverse your your lead you can figure out what which uh, if it's straight polarity or reverse polarity diode so that would save you a lot of time um, anyway guys I hope this helps you and thank you for watching